goodness. Looks like a flood going on right here. What's going on here? I was leaving the Alderwood Mall AMC theaters after watching Eternals and I noticed this huge flooded area. I wasn't able to back up so I was forced to go forward. Unfortunately, I hit a huge pothole which punctured my tire. Today, I'm going to show you what to do if both your normal tire and spare goes flat. Because me hitting that hole, it must have been a short cut. I got a flat tire and I replaced it when I'm in a mall out in the cold. See? This is what driving on a spare in the front looks like. I have to go very slow. The reason why is because it's a lot more dangerous because the spare tire isn't designed. As you can hear, I have my emergency signal on. And I just realized when you have it on, you can't make the turn signals at the same time. So I just stopped that in the middle to let people know that I'm turning. As you can see, I'm going very slow. Um, I'm driving home trying not to take the highway if possible going like under 30 miles per hour the whole purpose of the emergency signal is let people know you know not to follow me or that you know not to, uh, that, that, that I'm driving slow for a reason okay so you see the donut went flat there's a puncture right here when I hit that pothole so what I'm gonna do is try to replace the rear to the front so it's safer to drive. Fill that with air and put that in the back. It's very complicated. Okay, so here's the tire pressure for the front and the rear recommended for Mazda. And the spare should be 60 PSI. Okay, we're filling the spare donut. 60 PSI is recommended. Hopefully there is no puncture. See it's filling. So Maximum 60 PSI. I think it's good right now. All right, so we got the spare donut on. Um, I removed the full size. We're gonna put in the front. Hopefully, this one doesn't go flat and it will support the weight. Should be 60 psi for the donut. It looks good right now. So we're gonna take a short lunch break and come back and see. All right. So one of the reason why we didn't want to go on the same line, like to do like a double jacking for safety reasons. That's why we crisscross. We removed it on the other side that you see right here. Remember, we removed it right here to put that full size bear in the front. Now I'm going to take this out and replace it with this and we should be good to go. Alright, I'm getting ready to take my car Les Schwab. Let's see if that donut hold up. Spare tire. Okay. Alright, let's drive the Les Schwab and get this taken care of. Oh, that was so stressful. I finally made the Les Schwab though. Jeez, I thought it was going to go flat because I didn't start hearing it <laughs> rubbing against the ground. No one says buffet. No one says buffet. Alright, so it looks like they're gonna replace that Pierce tire with Cooper Road Control. 225, 55, 17. That's painful and harsh right away. America's number one microamber solution for over 10 years. Fast, effective. Alright, so they put on a brand new Cooper Rook and right here, removed the inner size donut. It was actually bent 
So they had to uh, bend the rim before they can fill the back of the air. I'll show you. See? And they fill it to 60 PSI as recommended. That's my spare, so that's good to go. And uh, torque the nuts. Now all four full size. We're good to go. All right, guys. So I finally got my car. It's finally completed. The last swap took care of me. And I ended up with a brand new tire. They inflated my spare and torqued the proper nuts and rearranged the wheels. And I ended up paying a grand total of 1702, which is a great deal because it's under warranty. So what Les Schwab does is that because I've had it for over a year, they measure the tread life and deduct it from the price of the wheel, even though it's under warranty. Alright, so that's very decent. Okay, so here's my invoice, grand total of 1702. As you can see, a complimentary flat tire repair, which uh, I guess if you're not a regular customer, it'll cost you $20. There's the road control, Cooper Road Control tire, costs 100 typically 100, about $160, but with the deduction from the tread wear, which is minor, because I drove less uh, last year, even though I had it installed for slightly over a year now. So deduct, deducted that, that's how much... Uh, it costs from how much it's worth, and they're paying 1702 on my credit card. As you can see, hit a pothole, damage the uh, full size, and then the uh, spare later. So, the reason why I decided to make this video is to let you guys know what to do in case that you have a flat tire and also a spare that goes flat. So, here are some quick tips make sure that you check the air pressure of your spare tire annually preferably and also a undersized spare tire is not designed to be driving the front especially for front wheel drive cars because it's top heavy and also with the uh, transmission and the steering you want a full size a tire as opposed to undersized because that can damage your uh, axle in the alignment so in the rare event that your front tires go flat what you want to do is first of all remove jack up the rear remove one of the rear ones preferably the opposite side because you want the car to be well balanced and not tip over and put that to replace the flat full size whether it be the driver side or the passenger side front and then take the donut out hopefully properly inflate it and put that in the rear wheel, which is a lot safer. They actually had to hammer the spare donut because it was bent out of shape. I think I damaged it while driving with it in the front going down a hill or hitting another pothole. I didn't realize it was bent out of shape. So they can't fill it with air until they properly hammered it because it could blow out on them. But now it's to the proper PSI, which most spare tires are at 60 PSI because of a smaller surface area. So you need more pressure in that smaller tire. Well, last swap definitely took care of me. They offered me a fair price. Even though the wait was kind of long, I waited uh, over three hours. But it was first come, first serve basis. I do recommend them when it comes to uh, tire and alignment. They'll keep you guys protected and so you can drive safe. Take care of yourselves.